วันนี้ก็ก็ยินดีมากนะครับแล้วก็รู้สึกประทับใจแล้วก็ดีใจมากที่หลายๆท่านให้ความสนใจในเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของ p e r f o r m a n c e engineering มากซึ่งเ,เหมือนกับเป็นสาขาที่แอบแอบอยู่แต่ว่าจริงๆเราก็มีงานเกี่ยวกับ p e r f o r m a n c e เนี่ยค่อนข้างเยอะมากนะฮะแล้วก็คิดว่าการบรรยายในวันนี้เนี่ยคงจะเป็นประโยชน์กับทุกๆท่านนะครับในการที่จะนำไปใช้กับในงานที่ท่านทำอยู่แล้วก็ช่วยกันพัฒนาให้ทั้งงานวิจัยแล้วก็งานก่อสร้างถนนมีคุณภาพแล้วก็เป็นสวิตที่ดีสำหรับประเทศไทยนะครับถ้างั้นผมเริ่มเลยนะครับครับ uh, Dear Associate Professor Dr. s u p o t t e s h a w a s i n k u n and Associate Professor s i r u n g p i c h a n o n the Associate Dean of Faculty Uh, Professor Dr. Mang t h i a Dr. p i r p o n g j i t s a n g Iam, Associate Professor v i s a n u s a p s o m p o n and Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to thank everyone for coming to, together to exchange ideas and build new friendships at today's event. p e f e n Technology from Dishes to Practice is a forum that reflects j u a l o n g k o n University uh, Faculty of Engineering Mission. To disseminate the latest advances in the field and showcase outstanding work of engineering instructors. Today, we would like to uh, we will look into the great strides being made by renowned leaders in the field of road pavement, including Professor Dr. m a n g t h i a from University of Florida, Dr. Peter Pong j i t s a n g i a m from Curtin University, and Associate Professor v i s a n u s a p s o m p o n From j u r a l o n g k o n University, as a higher educational institution uh, with the responsibility to develop engineering minds and innova innovations, Faculty of Engineering, j u r a l o n g k o n University will continue to organize such activities as today, in support of its commitment to develop Thai society and the pursuit of knowledge. Thank you very much. Uh. Good morning, uh, Professor Dr. m a n g t h i a from uh, University of Florida, and Dr. p i r a p o n g j i t s a n g i a m from uh, University of uh, sorry from Curtis Curtin University, and a j a m b u n Chai j a s u p o t Deputy Dean to the Faculty of Engineering and Distinguished uh, Guest. Uh, today uh, is. Quite a special event for us to welcome you to the Langear Forum. Since uh, our Faculty of Engineering has the Langear Forum uh, started it like three years ago, and it is the event that we uh, exchange uh, engineering engineering knowledge in different fields of uh, that we have uh, research and teachings in our depart in our faculty. So uh, we have this event every month. Uh, Now, usually on Saturday, but today is a special event that we have distinguished uh, professors from uh, different universities. So it's a good chance for us to have kind of a special event in English. So uh, I think uh, from uh, the event today, which is the pavement technology research to practice, I see some audience from uh, the practice uh, side that I think. Uh, Will be a good chance for us to exchange ideas and uh, learn learn from uh, different uh, professors, distinguished professors, that maybe we can apply this knowledge to uh, what uh, we are doing in our uh, career. So I hope that um, this uh, seminar will uh, bring the uh, expansion of the pavement technology um, from uh, different universities to to us who are working in this field. So uh, our Faculty of Engineering welcome all of you to our faculty and hope that this is a good and a good start that we start a connection uh, from from you with. Uh, Faculty of Engineering, t u l a l u n g k o n University, and uh, we would like to welcome you to other occasions of the l a n k i a Forum as well. So uh, I declare this seminar open today. Thank you. ครับก็วันนี้นะครับคร่าวๆก็จะมีทั้งหมดห้าเซสชันนะครับซึ่งในภาคเช้าเนี่ยโปรเฟสเซอร์ดรแมงเทียก็จะ
บรรยายในส่วนของเทคโนโลยีเกี่ยวกับอะฟอลเพฟเมนต์นะฮะหรือถนนลาดยางและถนนคอนกรีตแบ่งเป็น2ช่วงนะฮะแล้วก็ในช่วงบ่ายเนี่ยหลังจากพักเที่ยงแล้วก็รับประทานอาหารเที่ยงแล้วเนี่ยเราก็จะมีอีก3เซสชันซึ่งก็จะมีโปรเฟสเซอร์เทียอีกเช่นกันนะฮะก็จะพูดเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของฟิลอีวาลูเอชันหรือว่าการตรวจสภาพของถนนนะครับแล้วก็อีก2เซสชันตอนบ่ายเนี่ยก็จะเป็นดรพีพงศ์จิตสังเอี่ยมที่จะพูดถึงเรื่องของอการใช้ซีเมนต์ผสมกับวัสดุเบสซึ่งเรานิยมเอามาทำเป็นรีไซคลิ่งมาเทเรียลนะฮะแล้วก็สุดท้ายเนี่ยอาจารย์วิศนุจะพูดเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของอการเรื่องของ Payment Management System ซึ่งปัจจุบันเนี่ยเราได้ถูกนำไปใช้ในทั้งกรมทางหลวงและกรมทางหลวงชนบทซึ่งช่วยในการบำรุงรักษาทางบริหารจัดการงบประมาณต่างๆนะฮะซึ่งก็เป็นเรื่องที่น่าสนใจทั้งหมดเลยนะครับก็ May I introduce you Professor t h e r Professor t h e r จริงๆก็เป็นอาจารย์ของผมนะฮะตั้งแต่ตอนที่สมัยเรียนที่ฟลอริดานะครับท่านก็มีประสบการณ์ในการทําวิจัยเกี่ยวกับเพฟเมนต์หรือว่าวัสดุผิวทางเนี่ยมานานมากกว่า 30-40 ปีนะครับท่านมีงานวิจัยเกี่ยวกับเรื่องของทั้งวัสดุคอนกรีตถนนคอนกรีตนะครับแล้วก็ทั้งแอฟฟอลในส่วนของแอฟฟอลบายเดอร์ก็คือพวกตัวอย่างแอฟฟอลนะฮะแล้วก็ performance ของแอฟฟอลคอนกรีตเหมือนกันแล้วก็ในส่วนของเพย์เมนต์แมネจเมนต์ซิสเต็มด้วยนะฮะหรือว่าระบบที่ช่วยในการบริหารจัดการถนนนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นวันนี้ก็น่าจะเป็นเรื่องราวที่น่าสนใจมากๆนะครับการบรรยายของโปรเฟสเซอร์เทียก็จะเป็นภาษาอังกฤษแน่นอนนะครับก็แต่ว่าถ้าเกิดมีคําถามอะไรก็สามารถถามได้นะฮะถ้าไม่สะดวกที่จะถามเป็นภาษาอังกฤษก็เดี๋ยวผมช่วยแปลแล้วก็ทันเฟอร์ให้นะครับถ้างั้นเริ่มกันเลยนะครับ Uh, please let's start <laughs> for the first session. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, in um, Dr. Poon Chai's introduction, he probably did not mention that when I was young, I used to practice karate. You know karate. <laughs> <laughs> And in uh, when we uh, practice karate, uh, one of the things we Have to do is we have to uh, we have to fight, you know. We have to do sparring. <laughs> And uh, in the beginning, I always got hit when I do sparring. You know, I I would go in there, and I got hit, and I didn't know why I got hit. <laughs> And, uh, and then later on, uh, my instructor told me the secret of why how not to get hit. Uh, he said that well, when you are within a striking distance, if if your opponent is within, uh, if you are within his striking distance, when he hits you, there's no way you can block, because human reaction is is not fast enough. You know, if if you are uh, in a distance where he can hit you, uh, when he hits you, you cannot block him, because your reaction time is. Longer than his striking time, he, it only takes him 0.1 second to hit you, and it takes you 0.2 second to react. Okay. And so, it's very important to understand the fundamentals so you don't get hit. So after I understood that, I always try to stay outside of the striking distance, okay, in order not to get hit. Okay. And in uh, when we teach students. We try to teach the fundamentals so that when they uh, pick up new knowledge, they can understand it well and can they can uh, apply it well. Okay. If we do not understand the fundamentals, we can attend meetings after meetings. We can attend conferences, and we hear, we can hear a lot of presentations, and we can uh, a lot of time we just get more and more confused. Because there are so many different methods, they seem to be different uh, from one another, and uh, bec and because we don't understand the fundamentals, it's very difficult for us to really uh, understand it, absorb it, and apply it. And so I will. Uh, my first presentation is on fundamentals and practice of asphalt mixture design procedures to ensure adequate performance. 
uh, I like to cover the fundamentals and I also uh, summarizes uh, my experience in this field in the past 30 years. I've been teaching at the University of Florida for the past uh, 29 years and my experience is in asphalt and concrete materials and asphalt and concrete uh, pavements. Uh, just a little bit of uh, introduction about where I, I, I work. I work at the University of Florida uh, at, uh, in the state of Florida. This is uh, the map of Florida relative to the rest of the United States. And this is uh, where it is relative to the neighboring country. Florida is very close to the country of Cuba. And, uh, and then on uh, the other side, we had uh, Mex Mexico. Uh, we, uh, this shows a map of Florida with the, the major uh, expressways. Florida is known for its uh, alligators. And so that's a symbol of our university. It's an, uh, it has a subtropical climate, so there's a lot of palm trees. Okay. But this time of the year, it's a uh, hurricane season. We have a lot of hurricanes. And a few years ago, you have heard about a lot of hurricanes hitting Florida. It's uh, news uh, in, in the world. Uh, this is a picture of uh, University of Florida. It has over 50,000 uh, students. Uh, has a uh, program in uh, a lot of fields, and actually it's uh, known to be the second, uh, the, the university with the second largest number of programs uh, in, the, in the United States. Uh, the, the biggest thing, the University of Florida is uh, football, American football. Okay, the, uh, people are crazy about uh, football. In recent years, the University of Florida uh, won the national champion uh, for, for two years. Okay. It was also, uh, last few years, was very good in basketball and also won the national champion in basketball for two years as well. Okay, but uh, my uh, present, this presentation is about uh, how we can make sure that an asphalt mixture uh, is adequate for performance. Okay. Uh, how do, we, how do we design asphalt mixtures so that we don't have alligator cracking, uh, so that we don't have transverse cracking, uh, so that we don't have excessive rutting, or raveling. Raveling is uh, you know, a condition where uh, the material at the top of the pavement falls apart. Okay? And this could be caused by uh, water damage. Well, is super paved the solution? Uh, in the uh, United States, we have a mixed design method called super paved. Is super paved the solution? I'm going to uh, also introduce a little bit about super paved uh, asphalt mixture design in this presentation. Well, to solve the problem, we need to know the causes of the problem. Okay. Uh, you know, when uh, pavement fail, it's usually because the stresses are too high. If the stresses exceed the strength of the material, it will fail. Right? So we need to know the stresses in a typical pavement. If I t took a typical pavement uh, and uh, do an analysis uh, to determine the stresses in a, in a typical pavement under a typical wheel load, what kind of stress distribution am I going to have? Okay, so we did this analysis putting on a standard wheel, and uh, this is a standard uh, asphalt pavement structure with typical uh, material properties. We did the analysis, and uh, this shows a plot of vertical stress uh, as a function of depth. So this is, uh, as you can see, it's uh, yeah, we, uh, the vertical stress, as it's uh, fairly high at, uh, okay, this is actually the, the, the zero is on 
on the left end. So at the, at the, at the top, we have the vertical stress is as high as the uh, contact pressure of the tire. And as we go down in depth, the vertical stress gets lower and lower. OK, well, what, how, uh, how does the vertical stress affect the stress? Well, if the vertical stress exceeds the compressive strength of uh, the asphalt mixture, we're going to have consolidation, def uh, deformation due to uh, compressive failure. And so we're going to have consolidation rotting uh, as shown here. Okay. Well, if the stress on top of the base exceeds the compressive strength of the base, the base will fail. And when the base fail, uh, the surface layer will also go down with it. And we could also have rotting. But this type of rotting is due to failure of the base. Well, if the stress at the top of the subgrade exceeds the compressive strength of the subgrade material, then the subgrade will fail, and everything else will settle with it. And we can also see rotting. But in this case, rotting is due to failure of the subgrade. Well, uh, we want to uh, focus on the surface layer only, because this presentation is on design of asphalt mixtures, you know, just the material at the, uh, at the top. So we focus on the stresses in the top layer. Okay. So under that same load, uh, I, we plotted uh, horizontal stress, you know, uh, stress going in the lateral direction. Uh, we have vertical stress and also shear stress. And this is the plot of these stresses uh, exactly under the middle of the load. Okay, we have this uh, kind of plot. Okay. We also look at the stress along the edge of the wheel load. Okay. Well, the, uh, what is the difference here? The main difference is that when you look at the stress uh, just at the edge of the wheel load, the shear stresses are higher. Okay, and so uh, we, you know, previously the stresses were only uh, at the uh, were high only at the top and at the bottom. But if you uh, look at the uh, stress along the edge, the shear stress are actually uh, higher throughout uh, most of the the depth. Okay. So this is uh, in, uh, when we consider shear stress. This, the uh, this is a more severe condition. Okay. Well, what is the effect of shear stress on uh, possible distress in the asphalt layer? Well, if the shear stress exceeds the shear strength of the asphalt mixture, we're going to have shear failure, and shear failure will uh, manifest itself in this type of rotting. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's rotting due to shear failure. It's called shoving. It's, an, uh, you know, it's, it's a serious type of rotting. Okay. So it material will be uh, pushed to the side. Oh, this is a uh, pointer, right? So this, I can. Oh, no. The yellow one, OK. This would, oh, OK, the point. OK. okay. So if, if the shear stress is too high when it exceeds the shear strength, we will we'll have this type of failure. OK, then we go. OK, well, uh, if the tensile stress exceeds the tensile strength, we're going to have cracking. And when you look at the, uh, the, the previous plot, we can see that we could have, uh, if I go back to this plot, we could have excessive horizontal stress. Okay, uh, 